We're back to the Total Education Celebrity Show, powered by the Beach Lifestyle Celebrity Segment. Remember, go to simplyg.com and we are the challenge.com for more information or totaltutor.net. And I'm just, I'm just so honored to have on the program and uh, celebrity, actor, and much, much more exhibit. Exhibit, thanks for calling, man. You know, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Well, I'm I'm very excited, and for our li- listening audience that doesn't know who you are, because I mean, everyone knows who Exhibit is, but specifically, you never know. <laughs> you want to get a new generation of listeners uh, to your music and things like that. Tell us a little bit about your background. Well, uh, you know, I, I've been a recording artist since 1996. Um, I released my first single, Paparazzi, and, uh, and it took me around the world. And, you know, from there, I started working with Dr. Dre and Eminem and Snoop Dogg and the rest of the family here in the West. And uh, and, 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 and it's been an, an illustrious career. I started, you know, uh, doing television and, and cable TV. I started a show called Pimp My Ride that, you know, broke all kinds of boundaries. And then it led to a you know, a movie career, and, you know, and, and, and it's been a roller coaster of a ride, but, you know, I've been able to spend, you know, decades and, and, and continue to have a presence in, in entertainment. So that's basically where I came from. Well, absolutely, and uh, a, a tremendous story. And uh, what you did in your whole career is fantastic, but then you did something that a lot of people don't do is try to become an entrepreneur because you know you're making all this money you're, you're, you're the brand you're the brand already why go through this have other people work for you you know and meaning like in a way where uh, I'm just going to collect money and save my money but you decided to become an entrepreneur and those are the most creative people in the world who create the brands create everything and through your creation of your brand you said you know what I want to be an entrepreneur. So what made you want to become an entrepreneur? I mean, I think, you know, no no one in my family is, has been considered a millionaire. I'm the first one that ever made a million dollars in my family, you know. And, and, and being, you know, forward-thinking and wanting to have, you know, to educate myself because I didn't go to college, I didn't have that background. So I wanted to be able to, A, you know, support myself, you know, legally <laughs> first. And, and, and then I wanted to take advantage of, you know, being, you know, a young man and having a lot of opportunities happen in order to organize that and make sure that I'm reaping, you know, the most benefit from those choices. Well, absolutely. And I think that uh, basically th- th- that's what happened. So what made you decide about this tequila brand? What made you want to, to do this as, uh, as uh, one of your entrepreneurial ventures? Well, as bad as this sounds, I like to drink a lot. And, <laughs> and, and, and when I tasted Bonita for the first time, uh, I, it was basically, you know, hands down the best tequila I've ever tasted. So, you know... I look for opportunities that are on the ground level that are starting from the bottom, and, and I like to be able to have an influence in the direction where that brand goes. Um, I don't endorse and get behind a lot of things. So, you know, when this opportunity came, it fit right into the luxury style branding that I'm accustomed to, and it was it was a perfect fit. So, you know, what, what I got with Chris and Annette, and uh, and put the, our minds together. We came up with the idea of not only you know endorsing it, but being a partner. And and that's what's attractive to me at this stage of my career is having ownership and having things that you know not only I, I built you know multi million dollar companies for other people. Why not do it for myself? And that's the key because then when you're old and uh, and you know you have something that. To, to have to hang your hat on that's something that you know you're at one point your music career you, you'll be like i don't want to travel all the time but as an entrepreneur you've created this this is your this is your baby meaning you're the one helping make uh bonita platinum become what it needs to be and uh that's the key component of this right that it's yours it's not another company's making money off you <laughs> exactly <laughs> so tell us specifically. So you so you discovered them and you liked their tequila. What so what what happened from there? It's like uh, basically, uh, I, I gotta I gotta talk to these people. How did this? Tell us the story. Well, um, basically, you know, 
the story happened like this. Chris saw me with a video, in a video, music video that I had produced uh, called What It Is. And in the video, I'm, you know, throwing, you know, drinking bottles of Patron, throwing, it's like tequila everywhere. <laughs> and so he said, you know what, you know, he must like tequila. So he sent me, uh, you know, a, a case. And uh, from there, you know, we started conversations. We, you know, we had a couple meetings. And uh, that, that's basically how it happened. It's, it's, you know, it was no secret to the formula. It's just how, that's how it came together. A lot of times artists connect with businesses and then it becomes a win-win relationship. And you said, this is a win-win for me. That's what that sounds this like. This is a win win. Yep. So you went from there with uh, the brand, and then you you came up with some ideas yourself in this marketing after you uh, became a partner and wanted to endorse it. Is that should that change? Yeah. Lot? So tell us specifically some of the yeah. ideas you had. Well, basically, you know, I have an, a built in audience that comes from the music side of, of, of things and also from the television side of things. But you know, there's creative marketing that goes in, you know, both sides. You know, our bottle is beautiful, but, you know, we want to showcase the bottle as the, as the product and, and make sure that people understand what's inside the bottle is the most important. And my audience is being brought to it. So we don't want to, we don't want to uh, put a bad taste in anybody's mouth that may not be familiar with, you know, the music side of things. So it's, it's, a, it's a fine line that we have to walk. But the creative marketing that comes from, you know, our, our guys on the Bonita Platinum team are spectacular, ranging from our events that we throw all the way through to, uh, you know, our print ads and the way the photos and, and our, our look and the way we even package our, our products has changed over the last three months. So, you know, we take very, uh, uh, very aggressive steps to make sure that our, our perception and the way that we put our product into the market is, is, is above and beyond, it's beyond perfection. So then, I guess through that process, especially you being someone who tours exhibit, you're just like, you know what? Why don't we go on a tour? Because that's where I guess the whole world can learn about your brand. So tell us what's going on with the uh, whole tour, the the whole uh, promotion tour. Well, what we do is every time we solidify distribution in a market, we go into that market about 45 days after initial uh, shipment. Uh, from there, we, we, you know, we find, you know, the movers and shakers. We find brand ambassadors. We bring people in that are going to help us, you know, when we're not present in the market. And that's what we do. You know, once we solidify distribution, I fly out. You know, we throw an event. And, I mean, it, it works out perfect. That's really cool. And uh, when's your next uh, events coming up? What, what city are you going to next? Well, we get all kinds of, you know, we get all kinds of news every day because we have, you know, we're constantly getting new cities, new states, new distribution. So uh, it's hard for me to say unless I have my calendar right in front of me where I'm going next. <laughs> because you were traveling with your music and trying to coordinate both of those things. That's a challenge. Sometimes. Exactly. Uh, absolutely. Exactly, yeah. Okay. So what, what do you think since you've been an entrepreneur, what has been the biggest challenge you've had? to uh, overcome, I guess, uh, in being this partnership and things like that. What challenges have you had to, to try to overcome so that you can make this brand the best tequila in the world? Well, I mean, there definitely is a lot of competition. But uh, I, I believe in the same breath there is no competition because no one is, is, is approaching, you know, our tequila process the way we have here. So uh, I think all we have to do is stay consistent. Well, if we stay consistent and, and push, you know, and make ourselves known in the marketplace and make smart moves and, you know, don't get ahead of ourselves, I think we'll be fine. I think we're going to set a pace um, that is going to far surpass our, our initial expectations, and then we'll go forward from there and see what happens. And it sounds like it, and I think that that's your ultimate goal. So what's your ultimate goal with this company? Where do you want to see it in the next five years? I mean, where, where don't I want to see it? I want to see it everywhere. I want to be able to turn around and not only do charitable events and, you know, use the, use the equity in, 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 in a manner that I see fit, uh, but I want to be able to, uh, I want to be able to, um, you know, uh, endorse, you know, other people, you know, get into, get into endorsing things and, and building our brand that way, you know, it'd be maybe sponsor a car or, or a NASCAR or do something 
that is on a, on a larger scale campaign or, or sponsor a tour or sponsor an arena or I mean it, it doesn't I mean the the, the 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 sky's the limit. Now, I believe that we can get as big as we as we desire to be. So, are you looking at also any charitable organizations you're looking to partner with with some of the sales? Have you were talking about that? Have you ha- do you have any ideas yet of who you'd like to help? Yeah, we. Well, we have something already in, in place. We have something for our breast cancer survivors, and 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 uh, it's a campaign coming out that that maybe uh, Shay after the interview uh, can chime in and let her know about. But there's a very good, you know, initial campaign that we have for breast cancer coming up to, with our bottle involved as well. As well, well, my business partner and I, we. Uh team up with other uh, foundations to try to help them out in certain ways. So hopefully we can be part of this. So I'll make sure uh, to get in touch with Shay and try to get this done because uh, G's uh, traveling. He does live in L.A., my uh, co-host, and uh, he lives in downtown L.A. in one of the uh, those... uh, nice uh, apartments and uh, he would definitely love to be involved to help in this process to promote the event so I will make sure to reach out to both Shay and G and we'll make sure that we can get something going so that we continue this right. and, and, and have it as a regular update where you're promoting and where you're going with this but I like the idea that you're putting uh, a charitable part of this it's not constantly about okay I'm going to fill my pockets I want it to be successful brand but I also want to give back isn't that correct Definitely. That, that's always been in a, that's always been in the portfolio for me. And have you done? Has breast cancer been the big thing you've always done, or what other foundations have you worked with in your career? Well, I mean, I've done things. I've done things where where I've built homes for you know uh, wounded warriors in the San Antonio area. Um, you know, it's 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 not about pinpointing, you know, what I've done. It's just always being there and being accessible, no matter what. You know, I, 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 there's no limit to the things I've done, you know, throughout my career. You know, I, I work and then get in where I can, but, you know, I, I like to put my money where my mouth is. You know, this is an opportunity that I see is going to be, you know, something that is going to be, it's going to be everlasting, you know, and, and, and forward as far as getting everybody together and, and, and pulling every, uh, pulling our families together and making sure we have a, a future. I also want to spread that wealth to be able to, you know, do things for people in need. Okay, the last uh, question I have is specifically about the music. What's going on with your music right now? I just released an album called Napalm last October. We're getting ready to uh, continue the collateral damage tour in support of the album. We did a short U.S. run, and now we're about to go do, you know, in combination with the Gumball 3000. We'll be uh, we'll be out in Europe. We'll do some uh, dates correlated with that, and then we'll just uh, put out a new album uh, probably end of this year. Fantastic. And uh, so you still love doing your music? Are you doing any acting right now, or is it just pretty much just uh, music right now? Man, I'm doing music and 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 I'm doing Bonita. So uh, okay. once I settle down, once I settle down and get some time, <laughs> then uh, I'll definitely get back into the movies. Well, it's it's a situation where you how do you have enough time? It seems like you're busy constantly. So I appreciate you taking time to come on the show. X, where can we find more information on you and people can purchase uh, the tequila in the cities that are available in the website and much much more. Where can we find that info? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you can go to BonitaSpirits.com, and it'll give you all of our latest updates. You can join our inner circle, and, you know, you can be uh, up to up to the date and, and see exactly what we're doing with Benita. Then you can also go to Exhibit.com or go to my Twitter page. Uh, it is uh, Twitter slash Exhibit uh, slash Facebook, all of that's the same, X-T-I-B-I-T. All right, well, it was an awesome conversation. Love to have you back on again, especially to promote the big event involving breast cancer and uh, promote your brands more and your music. So I'll stay in touch with your publicist so we can do make this a regular thing. And uh, I hope that maybe you'll get an opportunity to connect with GJ in L.A. So I'll try to get all that set up. So thanks for calling, man. All right, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. All right, take care now. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. Thank you. All right, okay, bye-bye. You're listening to Told Education right. Celebrity Show, and we'll be back in just a moment.